All right, it is Monday, and that means it is time for more Fallout New Vegas and the continuation of Old World Blues here on Big Mountain. Sorry, I kind of had to do uh, the way the scientists do it. Uh, so, when we last played Fallout New Vegas, and I do apologize for not having a uh, stream of Fallout New Vegas last Monday, we explored the mysterious satellite, were zapped into Big Mountain, or the Big Empty as it was called, met five giant scientific brains who are being harassed by another pre-war fought uh, war scientist, Dr. Mobius and his robo-scorpions. And we now have to find various technologies to help them and... <clears throat> excuse me, also get back our brain. Well, yeah, get back our brain because, well, our spinal column and other body parts have also been removed. And we ran into other lobotomites, other historic, or I should say other victims of the think tank and their vicious experiments over time. So... Uh, like I said earlier, I think this is probably my... At least in terms of, like, the, the humor and the atmosphere, this is probably one of my favorites, because it's got this very, uh, like... Almost outlandish MST3K-style plot, yet at the same time it's set in the Fallout universe kind of thing. Uh, so yeah. Okay, I'm trying to remember now here. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go to the X8 research facility. Um... Now, um, well, radiation, because after all, this is a nuclear crater. Uh, and we also got the X2 antenna in the last episode. The X2 antenna is one of the technologies that's required for the, uh, for them to push back against Dr. Mobius. Z9 Coaltis uh, Preservation. Oh yeah, and we also found out in our conversations with the brains that we have Dr. Uh, I believe it's Dr. Klein? Or no, wait, no, wait. Was it Doc... Oh, I can't remember now. I think it was Dr. Um, what was it? Damn, I can't remember now. But we have them to thank for both uh, we have the brains of the think tank as we explore we take a little detour to explore the Z9 facility uh, because why the heck not uh, might as well explore this in fact I've ne I don't I don't think I've ever actually entered this building so this is actually brand new to me the Z9 Kratolis uh, DNA preservation lab you can tell it's pre-war too because it's marked with a military base star um, but what was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, the, uh, we have the think tank to thank, I can say that, uh, for Cazadors and Night Stalkers being in the Mojave Wasteland. Yeah. Ah, speak of the devils. Ah, this is where not having companions really sucks. Thank God I have power armor, or else I'd really hate this. Aim! Aim! Are we gonna have to use bats to aim? Yes! Aha! Sucka! I might need to use bats to aim, though, because I suck at aiming, apparently. S suck Q matter modulator. Why? Why are you so... Uh, I got a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world. This dirty Harry thinks it is. Ah! Ah! Hey. You do realize this isn't very fun for me, Mr. Night Stalker, right? I, I almost would rather not have to shoot you. But you forced my hand. Gun. Ah! 
Aim. Why the hell were you not? Oh, that was infuriating. I really should not have had that much trouble aiming this gun. I don't know why I did. Uh, let's see here now. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? Uh... All right, shotgun. See, the problem is, is I don't specialize. Uh, my character is not specialized in any weapons. So... Now, granted... The AI on these guys is kind of crapped out a little. I will take that. Ugh. So this looks like this is where the Night Stalkers were bred, or at the very least created. Yeah, throwing axe. See, that's the problem, though. I don't... I'm not very proficient with any one particular weapon. So as a result, uh, I am kind of just like... Uh, as a result, I am just kind of sitting here, uh, kind of sort of exposed. And I just realized I have this Dakota anti-venom, and unless I go back into the uh, Zion, into Zion Valley, I have no reason to actually have that anti-venom anymore. Oopsie. Sunset. Come on. This is Sunset Sarsaparilla. Yeah, 25 of these suckers. I'm drinking them all just to make sure that I have... Oh yeah, the game actually sucked up most of my caps, too. Go figure. Ugh. Junk. I don't even know... Ah! Can I even shoot you from in here? No. You know what? I've got explosives. Let's see if that works here. Uh... I've got a lot of stuff I can use here. Like, it's almost unfair. Uh, okay, yeah, plasma grenades. Ah, that's okay. Glitch out. Glitch out. Okay, I'm going to get that. I'll get the... I'll take it. I think I might have got the one that... Or damaged the one that was in there. Uh, right shotgun seems to work. Bang! Ish. Watch as I don't... Watch as I don't think there's anything actually that I need in here. Night Stalker samples. Ew. And yes, you can actually eat this stuff. Just like, no. Why on earth would I do that? Oh, he's trapped in the pen. Good. Get him. Get him. That took care of that. I do think that the Night Stalker blood has, like, some crafting elements to it. You can actually craft. Oh, is he stuck in the floor? Oh, Obsidian. Never change. Yeah, I think he's stuck in the floor. So he might just be... He might be a sitting duck target here. Some may say it's unfair to kill an enemy and then fight back. I, on the other hand, find it very enjoyable. Hey, look, I forced him out of the ground. Well, now I've used most of my shotgun shells for the riot shotgun. Not happy about that. Ugh. What the hell is that? Those aren't... Ugh. Okay. Activate hot plate. Um, okay. Any lore entries? No? Okay. Drug that I can pawn. Really nothing in here? Ooh, a deluxe chemistry set. Nice. Yay. Can always use more healing kits. Always. So I could use the chemistry set while in quote-unquote combat, but not that. Sure. Sure, Jan. Makes sense. I think there's... Might be something in here. 
I don't know if unique weapons. Just the term squeezins I find very funny. Ugh. Blech. Yeah, they sure, uh, they sure went to town on these guys. Whoever they were in the previous life. Ugh. Disgusting. Oh, more ammo. Never enough of that. Okay, so he's behind the door, right? Where? Ah! Oh, jeez! Jadis. Okay. Apparently he's a Super Knight Stalker because he gets a name. Right? Oh, he's a Super Knight Stalker because he hits hard. Ugh! Back away! Back away! Die! Ah. Oh, thank God. <sighs> and he doesn't even really have anything unique on him. The only thing that I think is unique is the ability now to search this entire room. And oh. Yeah, well, I guess it's a good thing that I've got the repair thing, but... Man, am I going to need a lot of... Am I going to need to heavily repair something? Yeah, the Night Stalkers can't escape and didn't get out of this area. My rear, they didn't. <laughs> like I said, the worst part is, is that if, if this is the this is the, the Night Stalkers... And the Kazdors, we know, also got out. In fact, we fought one earlier. So, yay! It's just... Ugh. I do believe that there's actually a reason. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to see the... Uh, yeah, because you can make stuff on this hot plate. But again, I don't have... I'm not a craft character. Like, I just don't build things with this build. This particular character. In fact, I don't usually build, like, at all in, like, Fallout. Like, I just, like, usually purchase my supplies. I do use the reloading benches a bit. Uh, like, I got around to using them. See, this is why, and again, it's kind of annoying that the chemistry set's like only something that's in like uh, a handful of locations, but that's why I probably wanted to come in here was because of the chemistry sets. That alone just got me 10 more stim packs. And even if I don't actually like suck throughout the rest of the game to the point where I actually need like insert amount of stim packs here, uh, I would still much rather have all of those stim packs than uh, be close to death at like the final battle and be like, why didn't I craft more stim packs or buy more stim packs? I am so stupid kind of thing. So, uh, I think I can. Can I? I should be able to maintain my power armor with metal armor. I think. Could be wrong. Okay, is there... Okay, pick up the caps. Okay. Nope! Alright. I'm not gonna carry around the heavy metal armor if I can't use it for repair purposes. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a lobotomite corpse. It's not. Another throwing axe. Again, if I actually had, like, uh, any, any confidence in my skills with the thrown weapons, I'd probably uh, do so, but 
I'm not, so yeah. More shotgun ammo. Night Stalker clutch. That guy died with his favorite meal. So this is basically a Night Stalker pen. Basically. That's the the be all end all of this. This is like a Night Stalker captivity pen. Which we know obviously didn't work. Force fields can only be disrupted by a specific frequency. If anyone has found the frequency, last seen around X8, let the dome know at once. Uh huh. All right, so we're gonna head over to X. Excuse <clears throat> me. We're gonna head over to X8, and we're going to do that right now. But uh, yeah, I hope everybody's having a good Monday, as always. X8. Oh. More Night Stalkers. Just what I wanted. I mean, I say that, but I'd actually much rather have, like, Night Stalkers. And the Cyber Dogs. Yes. A police Cyber Dog. Ah, get up. I forgot about the knockbacks that they could perform. We can get a cyber dog, by the way. Uh, he's the only temporary companion we can get in this uh, deal. Uh, his uh, inclusion is in the X. Ah! Where did you come from? Like, seriously. On a military cyber dog, eh? But uh, his inclusion comes in the X8 facility, I do believe. And yes, that did actually legitimately make me jump. I was like, really? Come on now, game. More sunsets. Research center. That's where we want to be. Um, okay, there's another night stalker. I was like, oh, more enemies? More enemies. Come on. Ah. I've got more than enough healing. I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about my shots not hitting. Yes! Aha! I'm also trying to no-scope. And no vats. Just for the sake of it. Because why the hell not? If I can get away with it. Yes! Aha! Okay. So there's one more, at least, dog enemy. Maybe. And you can sell the Night Stalker squeezins. There's actually a couple crafting recipes that you get a little bit later on with the help of some of the same personalities. Damn it. I didn't realize that I forgot there was maybe some uh, lobotomites here. They took their sweet time. Yes! Your goo. Yay! Cause damage with all of the unique weapons. Oh! He's got one of those proton axes. Oh, nice! Critical strike! And that was it. Nice! Woohoo! Yeah, Q35 manner modulator. Not bad, eh? I'm gonna check out these military trucks before we head into X8 official. Because there might be something in them. Might. Some scrap, probably more likely than not. But. What the? Oh, you suck. Where the hell did you come from? You know what? Doesn't matter. You're dead. Or not. My robo scorpions will soon conquer the crater. Beat just that this is a big place, so it's hard to conquer everything. Nice. Well, that was certainly unexpected. 
not difficult in the slightest, but unexpected. Ugh. Also, kind of just funny to hear from Mobius. Just like, you know, my Robo Scorpions are going to totally conquer this place. It's just, this is a big crater and I can't seem to find the think tank to save my life. Well, I take that back. He probably isn't like, you know, that he can't find the think tank. It's just that it is a big place. This is a literal crater, so. Okay, so where is the door in? Ah, right here. Oh, goody, nuclear waste. Does not surprise, but... All right, to the central facility. Away! Uh, but, in other news... Oh yeah, this is the Sonic Field Emitter one. Ugh, look at the robots. Ugh. Yeah, look at the robots. Yeah, this is the DNA testing. Uh, this is the DNA testing one, for sure. Oh, hey, look. It's a brain, and another brain, and even more brains. None of them mine. Ugh. Yeah, observation area. None but gore. Ugh. Um, so what was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, uh, some great news. I have a new logo for the channel, uh, drawn by a good friend of mine who's a much better, or who's a damned good artist, and that will be the profile image soon of both the channel and of my Twitter bio. And when I say channel, I do mean channel of, I mean both Twitch and YouTube, where you can catch the VODs. Uh, if you missed any of them, shameless plug, shameless plug. X8 main terminal, X8 test subject information. This test, you will take on the role of one of those evil commies, infiltrating honest American learning. Don't worry, citizen, it's just for pretend. Your objective is to steal documents that a real dirty commie trainer, which you are, trader, which you are not, could use to brainwash our children, which you wouldn't do. This test will help us protect our children's fragile minds against agents of international communism. Agents like you. Just kidding. We know you're a loyal American, aren't you? Oh, I forgot. This is actually the stealth suit, which is actually kind of cool. It's, it's, uh, tests will be, subjects will be informed, we are gauging the effectiveness of communist infiltration. They won't know about the cyber dogs until we actually begin the testing process. Excuse me, test A engages cyber dog protection protocols alongside standard automated turret systems. Test B adds protectrons to the previous test. Test B also includes some basic tests for the field disruption capacity tater module gray until further notice please do not enter the testing the cyber dog testing area or conduct any experiments using it the cyber dogs are still being programmed and any disturbance could have a dr drastic influence on their progress restricting access in this fashion should also help avoid the repeats any repeat incident repeats of the incident playtime settlements for which are coming directly out of our budget. Dr. Gail Richardson, PhD test engineer. Well, so it's cyber dogs. And I believe the X8 armor will be the purpose of this test. I don't know why I can't remember it directly. I guess it's just... Test splicing area. Yeah, this is technically the splicing area. Yeah, this is technically the splicing area too. But this is where robots come into play. Damn you. Mr. Orderly, Mark IV. Thankfully, my power armor protected me and my pulse gun obliterated him. 
Oh yeah, that's right. This is the testing area. This is where you can create some really, really, like, screwed up stuff. And, uh, I think you actually have to at least create more stim packs. Uh, But yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, showing off my friend's amazing work because he's a damn good artist and uh, I'll be sure to make sure that he gets the credit that he deserves for it too when we uh, get around to it. Or when I uh, post it, I should say. Empty... Okay. In here, yes. In here. No, none that I can use. Okay, so I'm checking actually how many Sunset Sarsaparilla stars I have because I might, when I go back to the Mojave Wasteland, I might actually be able to complete that quest. Not even close. Still 12 away. Biomechanical splicing rules due to recent government mandated cutbacks to our funding only three experiments may be performed per day we do not have infinite kennel space here at in x8 only one cyber dog beyond those needed for the testing process may be created clear any and all debris excuse me from the platform before conducting any splicing experiments experiments are are not allowed outside the x8 facility Finally, security must be disabled before the experiments can run. Okay. That's totally not unethical. Robot and a robotomite. A robo brain! I feel different. Awake. Alive for the first time ever. Sorry to cut you off there, fella, but I've got a level up to address. Hmm. Do I want to max out anything, or do I want to max out, like, medicine? I don't know. Give melee weapons? Where, where are my melee weapons? Give melee weapons a decent boost? Uh... Yes. Oh, jeez. Uh, poor guy. He had a brain. He lived. And, uh, and now he's dead. Poor guy. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. You gotta find the other recipes. Yeah, there's actually recipes that you can find for, uh, for these, uh, these tests in, in the X8 facility, and you have to find them all in order to get the little challenges done. See, I don't remember everything about this game. And I haven't explored everything despite my multiple playthroughs of it, so... There is a reason for me to genuinely sometimes come back to this game, other than the fact that I love it and I enjoy playing it. Okay, Lobotomite. Ah! Combat music. Oh, must I? I think it's mostly robots in this, so I'm gonna use the pulse gun. Yeah, I think it's mostly robots in here, so my power armor will come in handy, and so will the pulse rifle, but, or the pulse rifle, the pulse gun. Ooh, splicing holotape. Yay, yay. Uh, let's see, the test terminal.
I'm not gonna open that just yet. Combat armor, I'll take because I don't know if... Okay, so that's the door to the testing facility. Stick... Ah! EN Pulse Wave Module on loan. X-13 is loaned out their EN Pulse Wave Module prototype for the Sonic Emitter. For use in our data retrieval test stipulations, the module allows the Sonic dismi uh, Dismitter to disable certain force fields. Do not allow test subjects to leave X-8 facility with this module. Even though it won't work outside of Big Mountains, this is a security nightmare. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Adam Figgis, MD, PhD, DUM, DMD, or DDM. Awesome. Nice. Project Burke and Project Hare. Or Project Burke and Project Hare. Yes. Project Burke involves some somewhat less, some less scientifically minded individuals might call grave robbing. Yes, we are forced to do it, this due to budget cuts. No, none of the, the of, uh, no, none of senior staff uses uses for anything else. Finally, in regards to the rumor that Project Hare engages in liquidation operations against non-military targets to procure research subjects, I will not dignify. Dignify them with a response. Any other questions? Important reminder to myself. While programming the new residential cyberdog module, module to retrieve objects thrown by human beings it, for purpose of enjoyment, I accidentally used an audio sample recording of its bark as the object to be fetched. The cyberdog has now become attached to the sample and has displayed signs of aggressive ten tendencies when I, when I attempted to recover it. I have left it in the residential reconstruction area until it is needed. I believe the cyber dog has buried it. Gail Richardson. So yeah, that's a, a mod for the, uh, the gun that we have. Ta-da! Ugh. And yeah, they are uh, literally gro robbing graves. Yeah. But I mean, do you expect anything else from such mad, dedicated scientists? <laughs> I mean, seriously, if you expected anything else, I'd like to know what kind of world you're living in. And can I holiday there sometimes? Because uh, that just sounds rather silly. Okay, so that was a robo-brain. I'm actually trying to remember... I think you actually have to go through and I can't remember now here. Basic test. Must retrieve success, retrieve three student files. Security measures prohibit you from retrieving any of the files. Basic security has been activated. Okay. All right. Enter if you dare. America, excuse me, American High School. Yeah, that's right. Boros. Uh, Boros is the one who let the freaking Cazadors out uh, and the Night Stalkers. I was just. Blanking on his name. Yeah, pretty much. Asshole. You screwed up the Mojave. Cyber dogs. I'll tell you how I spell it. 
death tension. Coming, Pico Traitors. Oh! Now, I will send vicious cybernetic cyborg dogs through the corridors to weed all you out. Ah! In the turrets. Which among you have chosen the coming path? Especially you, Betsy Bright, who turned me down to the high school dance so you could smoke with Richie Marcus. All monitors will also be vigilant. Step outside during class, and they'll make sure you make a speedy jump back to your desk. Hold your urine and wait for the proper bathroom break time. Yeah, hall monitors, as in, uh, when he says hall monitors, he means, uh, the turrets. Ah! Last! Oh, am I just not aiming correctly? Uh, game? Oh, this. Okay, so this is not working. <coughs> Alright. Is it because it's flesh? You know what? Fine. Proton axe. I wasn't gonna use the thing anyways anytime soon, so we'll use that. Uh. Make me look like a putz, will ya? Damn the dogs. Alright. At least the plasma grenade took out the turret in short order. Hey look! Wolverines! That's the Red Dawn! And it's a Wild Wasteland thingy too. And if you don't know what uh, Wolverines is, uh, or if you don't know what Red Dawn is, especially, especially considering the context behind uh, this quote-unquote all-American high school and uh, Boros's talk of commies, I, I don't know if there's any hope for you because that's essentially, or that's like one of the best callbacks you could probably ma make. All things considered. I'm sorry, I almost tripped on my words there. Okay. No documents here. I hear growling cyber dogs, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come across them sooner rather than later. You can't do that. It's against the rules. I don't know whose right idea was it to give the military cyber dogs, and more importantly, to have the EMP effect. Eh, it doesn't matter. They can't hurt me anymore. Whoa! You can. Ha! Lord of Mur Death Murder Mountain. Okay. That could have been worse. Retrieve student records. Retrieve Richie Marcus's midterm grades. Remember, this is one of his, uh, one of his, 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 uh, high school trauma, or he was traumatized in high school by this guy. So, ball lover. <laughs> I guess that's his way of saying gay. <laughs> or that he likes sports, perhaps. English F minus. Math F minus science F F or F minus minus history F minus Huh Yeah, I feel really bad for you, Dr. Boros. You know, you were bullied as a kid. B is for bomb. A is for America. D is for Dirty Kami. Aw, we don't get the rest of the alphabet? Boo. I'm trying to remember how many more turrets there are in this level. And I searched that lobotomite. I'm trying to hear where the dogs are, too, because I don't want to get jumped. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ah, this is to control the turrets in the facility. In the test, rather, I should say. So, uh, I didn't have to destroy him. Although, 
unfortunately, I don't think that the turrets would have fired on my behalf anyways, because I, that's just kind of, uh, yeah. So that was really just more for the XP, probably because I had destroyed them. So there are, there is another of this test, uh, Bugs Giffer, and there's more turrets, as well as Protectrons. I actually think the Protectrons are easier, honestly. Bake Sale Friday, fight the Red Menace with cookies. Figures the library will have something that we need. Oh, hi, Lobotomite. I actually forgot that there are some human enemies in these tests. And again, just talk talk about how much your life must suck. Like, first you get your brain ripped out and, like, other things ripped out by the scientist. You manage to wander your way in here, only to basically be stuck with note. Because you're too... Your, your capacity is so dimmed because of the lack. You can't... It's, the hope. Like, I don't think... I would like to think that the lobotomites aren't simply just trapped here. Or, or if they are trapped here, like, that they aren't, like, just, you know, oh, they're too stupid to live kind of thing in terms of why they aren't out already. I actually probably should just switch off of the proton axe. What's my armor holding up? Regular armor, fine. Other, not so much. Uh, what should I... Should I use a shish kebab? Uh, don't have a lot of ammo for the brush gun. I'm pretty okay with a survivalist rifle. Yeah, we'll switch to the shish kebab. It's a katana that's on fire. What's not to like? <laughs> I have no idea why I did that voice. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, vending machine. Da! Uh, ah! It's not even that the enemies themselves are that scary. It's just like that they come. It comes from the blind corner, so, like, I didn't see him, and as a result, he scared me, kind of thing. That's why. Because the enemies themselves aren't a uh, horror jump scare, like, I don't know. By the way, uh, if you thought a game recommend, uh, or game franchise recommendation, okay. Avoid using the stem packs if I can, at all costs, and yeah. See, the problem is that I don't have the force field nullifier. And like I said, I think that's an X-13. Hey, look. <coughs> I'm wearing that power armor. Ah! Frack. I think he might actually get me if I'm not careful because he's got a super sledge. I challenge you to a duel! Aha! Not so tough when you drop your super sledge. Alright. Ow. AHS American High School. Ah! Yeah, this doesn't this doesn't worry me so much. This turret, this is a weak turret, or hall monitor as it is called. And once again, the protectron is in the very last. I think it out actually. I think I cleared this out. We'll see, shall we? 
I might have even walked past some of the terminals that I needed to use for this submission. That's possible. Excuse me. Like, super, super valuable. Ooh, I spoke too soon. Stim packs. Like I said, can never have enough of those. I think that's it. It's just a little XP. <sighs> BBs. Okay. I don't need the BB gun, but I'll take the BBs to sell for later. Ah, here's another terminal. Another turret control terminal. Well, termi terminal. Terminal, which is actually useless because, again, destroyed the term terminal. The terminal. The turret. In this case. Oh well. Uh. Well, there was only one other option it could be. Meh. <laughs> Yep, no targeting data because he's because it has been destroyed. That's fine. Also, no uh, no splicing experiments uh, data. I wonder if that's somewhere around here that I missed. Okay, uh, yeah, get it. I have no idea why I ragdolled, but... <sighs> Damn, that was weird. I completely ragdolled. That was actually kind of funny in its own silly way. Uh... I think that might have marked the end of the uh, enemies in this level. Okay, so that's the exit. Um, is my armor looking like... It's stronger than I give it credit for. Uh, I am actually going to save though, just because I do not want... With all of this bip-bop bouncing around, I don't want it to end up glitching and crashing on me here. Okay. Open gate average for a little XP. Why not? Baseball bat. And then a lot of this other stuff is useless. I mean, at least the baseball bat can be used as a weapon. Just a, a little bludgeon stick. More caps. And yes, there is a purpose to the lunch boxes. You can use them to make uh, bottle cap mines. I just never use the bottle cap mines, so... <clears throat> Bertrie Bretzy Brights records. Unexcused absence, 7. Disruptive behavior, 3. Smoking on school property, 11. Ooh. Well. Oh. I mean, I'd say petty, but we all know that that's the truth, so... After I clear X8, I'm going to get uh, some more of the sync personas because they are some 
They add some more uh, colorful characteristics and humor to the game, to say the least. I do think I actually have to go all the way back to the very beginning area because I accidentally, and by accidentally I mean I didn't check one of the alcoves that I was supposed to check that has the uh, remaining terminal. Oh, I stand corrected. This is where I needed to be. I don't have to go all the way back after all. Retrieve Sherry O'Bannon's schedule. After school schedule, ballet, pep squad, tutor centering, volunteering. And I don't know who she is, but we got her student records and now we can leave. I don't like the sound of that. Why do they get the feeling that it's... That it spawned more cyber dogs? Eh. But yeah, once we get through that, um... We can go through it a second time with the, uh, Protectrons as the primary guardian and turrets. And it's basically just the same thing, except you get, uh, a little something extra. Try! Do it! Yeah. I got a sword. Give me fuel, give me fire. Your crispy death I desire. I'm sorry, that was very terrible. Um, anyways. Phew. Yep. Residential test. Mm. Yeah, this is the gun that they want me to get. Cyber gun. Big freaking Tesla cannon. I might as well try to use it. If I'm remembering correctly. Ugh. Brain out of jar. Ugh. Observation terminal for X8. X12 request for assistance. We've had a small issue with one of our trauma harnesses. Yep, we saw him. We saw him outside of X2. Sadly, a member of the X12 choked on a buffalo gourd seed and died while he was working late last night. For some reason, his Y Trauma 17 harness is not shut down. In fact, it has begun malfunctioning and causing the late Mr. Harris to attack other employees. Do you have any other prototypes you could lend to help us stop it, Barb? Assistance granted. I am sending over the K. 9,000 cyber dog gun. It should do the trick. Let me know if you have any questions. Adam. Cyber dog gun is of course sealed in X-12. While attempting to destroy Mr. Harris's trauma center, the disaster control team member carrying this, the, do the gun slipped and fell, dropping the we weapon. Unarmed, the team had to flee and seal off the lab. Unfortunately, your KDOT 9,000 Cyberdog gun was sealed inside X-12, Barb. Oh, these scientists. It's a man. It's a miracle they made it to the end of the to the of the world. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, seriously, it is though. Okay. Uh...
Yeah, I think we gotta initiate the test again, and then we, uh, end up going through. Hey, Wild Wasteland! These are references to, uh, some psychology experiments, as well as, uh, the old... I can't zoom in for whatever reason, as you can see. The old dog's playing poker. You've seen that portrait, right? Hey, I'm not the only one who's seen it, right? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, did I check this already? No, I did not. Scanning for hostiles. Oh, yeah, this is... Hey, look, it's the other side of the school. Wasn't that shut down for some reason? Scanning for hostiles. I don't know. Maybe it's the Protectron I'm about to fight. That's cool. Doesn't do nearly the level of Ha <laughs> I got a huge cannon. Okay. Oh, yes! My pet, Gabe! I'd forgotten about the old boy and the countless experiments I have done. Yeah, like that's gonna work. Gabe would bark and snarl and bite whenever anyone came to visit. That's why I replaced his legs with spare parts and fed him a steady diet of psycho laced. Psycho laced dog chow. So you fed your dog drugs. Well, that's one way to say I love you, I guess. Okay. No! Uh. I wish I could say that it's just a matter of, like, I'm not, like, level seriously. Or that I'm not taking this seriously, but I am taking this seriously. Uh, combat just can be a little difficult. Now, we actually do have the option of... Uh, killing the cyber dog. Now, granted, it's not an easy feat to not kill said cyber dog, but we have the option to not do so. And if I if I go through with this, I don't think that I am. I think I'm gonna end up. Uh, okay, so he's in the kennel. Mostly because. You don't actually get anything for sparing him, I don't think. Although, to be fair, I think the problem is that my sneak skill is kind of crap. So I'm actually basically, I have only two or three options. And the big one is for me to run. And that's kind of what I'm going to end up doing because I don't want to kill the doggy, but I mean, if he gets in my way, I'll have no choice. But I do think I can run away from him. Uh, but how do I get in the kennel then? Do I have to go back to the... Actually, I actually have to go back over here? Okay. I need to pull up the local map here. Okay, so I do actually have to go back.
beware of dog. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill him, but I am gonna have to maybe use some stim packs to avoid doing so because we'll have to go through all of his digging spots. Yay, we got it! You have recalibrated the sonic emitter. Take it to the jukebox to the sink for your calibrated for new effects. Yay! So we found his, uh, Found one of them so things. You recover the sonic emitter schematic. Here was it the frequency. No matter the billion. Gabe, I will help you. I promise. I get out. Could have saved Gabe, but unfortunately, uh, Mobius destroyed him. Ooh! But you do get a unique weapon, the L E A R, or the yeah, the L A E R, I should say, Lair. And this Valiant's Radia Accentuator, which is also. Unique weapon or unique item. Headgear. Little halo, if you will. Hmm. Okay. I always. I'm always confused as to how I get out of here because it's not exactly labeled on the. on the map how you get out. How do I get out of this? Stupid test chamber again. Is it through this door? Ah, it is. Ah, crap. More Robo Scorpions. You know, you should have expected something like this. But. Even though I expected it, I still am disappointed. I see you. Now I end you. Ow. <laughs> yeah, Robo Scorpion, Pinter Mark IV, done. So I don't actually know if there's anything else I need to do in here. I think I'm actually good. I could be wrong. Let me check the quest log here. Ah, yes. Activate the advanced data retrieval. 
Oh, I don't actually have them. Hmm. So, did I miss it? I think I might have missed it. Ah, oh, hell. Oh, well. Yeah, it's not really that important. We're gonna test the splicey splice first. Ah! Well, first we're gonna clear out the mobile scorpions. And then we're gonna... Yeah. Now, take out the robo scorpions. Pulse gun worked great against guys that have power armor, but the Robo Scorpions? Yeah, you got a lot of other weapons to choose from, as you can see. I'm trying to think now here. Okay, first, stim pack, heal. Oh, thank goodness. There's no more Robo Scorpions. I, I'm sure there'll probably be some when I exit, but I'm not too concerned. Place Robot and Dog. And this is how you get the Cyber Canine unit that you can use for the, uh... Yeah, now you got a Cyber uh, Canine companion here. Sadly, he's uh, restricted to the X-8 facility, but... You, too, you do technically get a companion in the form of Roxy. Yeah. Unfortunately, like I said, you don't get to keep the doggy. But it'll help you clear out the facility. The problem is, is that I don't know how to activate the... Oh, here it is. For this test, you'll need to retrieve three student files. To utilize better... Uh, utilize the field capacitor to better navigate this area. Okay. Upgrade Sonic Emitter. Yep, so basically it's Protectrons now instead of Cyber Dogs, which. But! Hey, look at that! Yep, download the EM Pulse field. Yay! Now the Sonic Emitter can actually. Can actually destroy the uh now the sonic emitter can destroy these pulse fields. Yay. Except it's not even needed. Get him, Roxy! Get him! So there's cyber dogs and so there's cyber dogs and uh, and protectrons. Good to know, game. Good to know. But yeah, this helps a little bit. Yeah, now you've got you've got turrets again because why not? But yeah, this is basically. This is how you get uh, some of the data here, as well as unlock some of the stuff. Can I just go backwards? I just went backwards. And yes, the terminal's moved, so you don't just simply get to walk away there easily. 
Gotta get some experience. Experience. There we go. Almost level 36, by the way. And once again, because I destroyed it before it could attack me, no targeting data. Or before it could attack me. Since I destroyed it as it attacked me, no targeting data. No, it didn't restock. So, yeah, you can't exactly cheese the system by saying, you know, ah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to totally get the supplies. Oh, 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 ow. If I was actually... Yeah, if I was actually a little more worried about that, I would have been, uh... I don't know. I had something for this. Retrieve student records, retrieve... Yeah, unfortunately, it's the same. It's the same, uh... And by that, I mean it's the same thing that you get. It's not like, uh... There are two separate things. But, yeah. Uh... Sounds like he's in the library. Good news is I think I cleared out the lobotomites. I don't... Just to show you how demented he is, kind of thing. Yeah. Just the same stuff again. Like, the lobotomites actually are probably more challenging than the cyber dogs, if I'm being honest. But this is why you get Roxy to help you with this, with this thing, because... You don't need... You don't need her, but... And yes, she can die, as any companion can, but... You know, that's why you keep an eye open. And no, there's nothing really that happens if such, you know, a thing happens. It's just, you know, kind of there. Now this, I do believe, was one area we could not access because of the force field. So, I believe... So, see? Ta-da! And a level up! Is he gonna wait? Might wait. Thanks for the medical supplies. You know what? I'll sleep. And save myself, uh, the healing. Yay! Level up! Again, getting down to the nitty-gritty, what do I really want for my, uh, my skill set here going forward? Hmm. I think I'll go... Melee. Repair. And then pump one more into energy weapons. Of course, the real question now is what do I want? Did anything get added? Ah, here's my level 36. You can sneak even with the Pip-Boy light is on. Anytime the Pip-Boy light is on, you sneak. You gain a sneak bonus off sneak to seek the, the sneak penalty. Well, that's actually kind of nice. I think I'll take that. If for no other reason, then I don't 
like have a very high sneak skill so it's not really um you know for to get a bit of a leg up on enemies that would be kind of nice to not have to like have the pit boy be like a death sentence to me or something like that to that effect i can make sense with words school is a sacred trust yeah, I mean, some of, some of the perks, unfortunately, end up uh, being kind of useless towards the end. But at least there are, like, perks that you can choose, unlike, say, like, Fallout 4. Sorry to cut you off there, Boros. I'm sure it was a very fascinating speech. Oh. Ow. Well, there's only so many passwords it could be. There we go. Hall monitor down. Oh. Oh. Yeah, right. Cyber dog. Got him. I wonder what level I will be by the end of this DLC. But, uh, yeah. So, we just gotta finish the test now, and then we can walk on out. Ah. You know what? You know what? I don't care that you glitched. Thank you for that. No, really. Thank you. Aha! Oh yeah, this is what the uh, sonic emitter looks like. Kinda neat, eh? And this is what the current wavelength is in terms of what it looks like. I could have swore there was another, uh... I think maybe it was in the... Maybe it was in the... The kennel is where the, the, the last splice is. Itchy. Itchy, itchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing else. Nothing new. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Ah! See, that's, that's just not good. Really not. And yes, I know I'm in first person mode. Um, I'm using it for aiming purposes there. No. I don't want it. Ah. Oh, right. Wrong bumper, genius. That might have helped. Ah. All right. Perfect. Find out more information about the X8 test. You bet. unless they more protectrons will respond somehow that's nice and the robo scorpions being gone too can I actually go to the kennel ball from here maybe eh no, damn it. Okay, fine. Okay. 
Okay, so it is in the testing facility. Specifically the back door to the testing facility. I must have missed something. Maybe it was over here. I'm trying to... No, that was the way I came in. Or was it? No, it wasn't, actually. No, it was not! I actually walked right past this the first time. Well, I feel slightly stupid. Only slightly, though. Because, honestly, I just forgot. Another lobotomite. Uh. Okay. Yeah, that was the op Yeah, I forgot. There was the observation deck. I forgot that, that that was the observation deck where you could see uh you could see Gabe. That's why I actually walked right past this, like a fool. Okay. This is where I, what I need. Aha! Dog and Lobotomite. X8 Observational Terminal. Shipping Department. Unusual Shipment. Dr. Richardson, we've just received one of the latest shipments of dogs from the Cyber Dog Experiment process, but, well, frankly, I think our supplier screwed us. The animals must, are, must be basically feral. Every time we get close to one of the shipping kennels, they let out with the most god-awful hissing and rattling seems to be the only way to describe it. Please advise, should we open the kennels or just send them back? Yeah, they got ship night stalkers. So at Dr. Richardson's request, we open one of those kennels to find a friendly shipment. The dog inside, I use this term loosely, appeared to be suffering from some truly horrendous, horrendous case of mange. And upon being released, some immediately attacked, killed, and attempted to swallow whole specialist acres. Luckily, uh... The, the, the situation has, at least for now, been contained as SPZ's acres ver was a very large man and the creature cho has choked to death. Oh, jeez. Does anyone know any about this shipment? Please advise. Damn. Department lockdown. In light of the large number of fatalities due to the latest shipment of experimental test subjects, the shipping department is undergoing a lockdown. I give you my personal, personal assurance that as soon as this this plague of monsters has been dealt with, I will work overtime to get your deliveries to you in a timely and efficient manner. As I am the currently the only surviving member of the shipping department, however, there may still be some delays. Until then, Dr. Callison X13 has the pass card for the area. Skippy, the sole survivor. Regarding shipping department... Oh, whoops, my bad. Uh, regarding shipping department lockdown in our last supervisory meeting we discovered a small shipping the possible benefits of a small shipping accident accident uh, specimens behavior the shipping department will remain in lockdown okay so yeah they uh, basically just said screw you guys and uh, yeah they left these poor people behind Typical scientist bureau bureaucracy, am I right? No, I didn't want to talk to you, dog. Okay, alright. Um So yeah. Okay, so that. That Okay. What's that? Just a pencil? So I have the key now. 
At least I should. Although I think I have to go through this exit. And I think I have to use the... Ah, crap. The game crashed. I know what that sound is. Hang on. I am going to have the game uh, reboot, and then we'll uh, continue. So, sorry, I'm just gonna be right back. All right, and we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, in Bethesda. All right, we'll have to do those redo these two fights, right? Yeah, we'll have to do this redo the fight. That's okay. <sighs> Damn it! Damn you, Obsidian! You can't make stable games. I mean, you make good games, but stable they are not. I think the only exception to that rule is uh is, um... Oh, God, why can't I think all of a sudden? Is, uh, the Outer... Uh, the Outer Worlds. I have had very little, uh, issue with the Outer Worlds in terms of a game. So, I can't say whether or not... Uh-oh, sorry, Roxy. But yeah. Hang on here, I'm gonna save after that. And actually I'll put away the shish kebab first. Okay. There. And then, eh. Okay, now save.
Alright, I am not going to reread all of these. I'm just going to skip down to the, the shipping department lockdown. Okay. And then grab that. I'm actually going to save again afterwards just in case. Because I don't need... All right. Now, let us finish this. Finish this testing facility and then I will, uh... All right, I need the kennel key stuff. And then after that, I will maybe do some more exploring for some more of the personalities that I can find. For the sink. Because I do believe there are a couple that are very much out in the open that I did not actually find. Actually, I'm going to heal myself first. Excuse me. First things first, to the splicing area. Okay, so can I? Lobotomite and dog. Mad science! The horror! The horror! Yep. Still had stuff on him though. Go figure, am I right? Okay, so now where do I Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. I've gotta go to X13 to find the key to the kennels. That's fine. That's fine. We're instead going to get out of here, and we are going to find our last, I think it's our last friend, with an off switch right now. And then, uh, yeah, we will be able to, we'll go back to the sink. Check out this space age beauty. Huh? Huh? I check these? Eh, I did. But yeah, we'll get the, um... We'll get the last of the first... Sorry to switch out like that. Um, I just do not... Yeah. Thank you for that. Um, and as you can see, my friend Roxy the Cyberdog has decided not to take this journey with me. 
like I said, uh, it's it's the only time you get a companion, and it's a temporary one. Oh, so we actually do have multiple locations to explore. Well, we're going to go for the one that's quite literally right here. Oh. Sorry, got to switch back to the energy weapon, because I want it to be fast. Yeah, the pulse gun, by the way... Out of all the weapons that you can find in the Mojave to take with you here, you definitely want to find this gun. Just saying. If you, like, deliberately ignored the pulse gun for the Veronica quest, uh, you're kind of handicapping yourself until you get the sonic emitter when it comes to fighting robots. Just saying. Okay. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Well, perimeter warning. Ah, crap. That's right. You got the stupid perimeter thing to try and keep, keep you trapped. You cannot leave the mountain. Leaving the mountain is forbidden. Not Robo Brains. Oh, Robo Brains. Cyber Dog. Damn it, this is where having the the flesh-based weapons, or the weapons that can take on flesh-based enemies helps big time. Ah! Crap. Mobius was not kidding when he said he had all the cyber dogs. Ah! Stabby, 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 stabby. I, I'm more, I know it's more kind of slashy, 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 but I prefer my uh, stabby, stabby. Okay. Now I can use this on you. Haha, -ha, sucker. Can I hit you from here? Yes, I can. Haha, -ha, machine head. Perk. Nice. <sighs> okay, we good now? Like, nobody else wants to jump out and hit me? Like, at all? Please? Please? Thank you. Y17 medical facility. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is where the trauma harnesses were. <sighs> yes. Very, uh, very pleasant indeed. I think I actually have to go in here, too. Well, let's pack some heavy artillery, shall we? <clears throat> oh. Really? Robots? See, I was under the impression that it was the Y tra Trauma 17 harnesses. I'm not complaining. I've got the guns, so why not? Dr. Orderly, MD, PhD. Well... Another one of those little halos. Holy computer banks, Batman. I wonder if there's any uh, computers here, actually, that we can hack that will tell us about what, what went wrong here in Y17. Well, we can actually take out that force field. So there's that. Seriously though, I was under the impression that the Y-17s were here. Oh, whatever. Is 
There's some. Oh, here it is. Haha! -ha, the auto dock. Yes. This is the sink project we came for. Yay! Mm, we can't use any of those. But. We can. Loot a desk or two and then go down to. Open the. That door. Thanks to our handy dandy sonic emitter. Sierra Madre, test case. I heard one of those execs mention whether Sinclair knew it or not. The Sierra Madre would be a test case for the autodoc and the innovation innovation toxins. Maybe they were joking, but even that kind of joke sends a chill down my spine. If I got poisoned by one of those toxins, there's no way I would crawl in to one of the Y17 autodocs there here if my life depended on it. The medical tech for those trauma suits alone makes me wish they'd erase their research. Those suits do more thinking than the people inside them. Ooh, creepy. Testing results. Succeeded beyond our wildest expectations. The test harnesses motor and allow the injured subject to walk back to home base. We'll have to see what develops once it is recorded. Um, with enough blah 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 blah. Truly amazing war after. Oh yeah, and by the way, they mentioned the Sierra Madre. That is where dead uh, the DLC uh, for the Dead Money DLC takes place. So yeah. Some issues still remain. Calibrating the amount to trigger to trigger it. Yeah, uh-huh. One of the suits, yeah, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, you could basically read that there. The, these scientists have no honor or code of ethics. It's all a big game to them. Now, granted, in the Fallout universe, the world was at war, and they were. Well, blinded by patriotism, we're trying to win said war, so it's not like they don't have a cause for what they're doing, but still. There you go. This is where you find the autodoc stuff. Autodoc modules. Jeez. They locked people in there. That's just unsavory. And that's how one of the tra trauma harnesses got out. Patient log. Oh boy, this should be interesting. First. Read these, read these. This is Christine Royce. Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Christine Mr. Royce! Not going to make it through this. Hope someone finds this message. Gets it to the Brotherhood in the West. Tracked a rogue Brotherhood elder, Elijah, here to the big empty. Hey, hey. <sighs> Place is more than it seems. There's a crater hidden deep inside. Junkyard of pre-war labs scattered across the crater's surface, all still running, like this one. Elijah's huh. dissecting these centers, one by one. Tracked him to an old Chinese-American internment camp. Survivors, ghouls have bomb collars. Robots moved in when I tried to intercept him. Elijah sent the camp ghouls against us both, like walking bombs. Got hit by the explosions. Woke up here. Hmm. Guess the medical road camp to this center. 
Some kind of uh. autodoc prototype lab. Manned by corpses trapped inside suits that keep them moving. No idea why. Not sure how long I'm going to last. Cut open my head like a lot of the humans I've seen here. Feel strange. Yeah. Can talk, but can't hack the term. Ah! Wait, and an now. explosion outside. Someone's here. Someone. Interesting. And now you see we're kind of in a similar situation. Except lobotomites ambushed me. You stupid assholes. Um. I have no idea, but the minigun was not working as I had hoped intended with the bursts. I was actually, like, trying to continuously fire and it didn't really work. Thankfully it... Thankfully it did when I needed it to, but that was a little close for comfort. Game. Ugh. Freaking lobotomites. <clears throat> and yeah, we got quite a few of the stuff that we needed. And uh, yeah, that actually is uh, a valid piece of plot information, by the way. Um, Christine Royce uh, and Father Elijah, both kind of important to events, shall we say. Now that's X-12. Ugh. Uh, all right, let's, we'll go back to Higgs Village here, and we'll get the Gabe's brain frequency, then we'll go back to the, uh, the bluegrass surrounding the dome absorbs all fertilizer, including fecal matter. This does not give you license to excrete on it. Um, well, uh, I think it's actually gonna be in his house, because we actually have the force field, the ability to get rid of the force field now, in, uh, what's his name's house? Boros's house. And as such, I think, once we get that, we'll go back to the sink and get some more of the personalities installed. Um, either that or we'll actually like kind of bypass them. Oh no, never mind. It's in his doghouse. Oh, it's the fucking gremlin death claw I was telling you guys about in the last uh, stream. Do not be fooled by him. And his, uh, his gremlin size. He is a legit Deathclaw. And he is fucking annoying. I have no idea even what kind of weapon I want to use on him. But strike. Yeah. Uh. Crap. Yeah. Come on! Apparently, his AI is glitching out. I'm not gonna complain. Because this is a hard fight otherwise. Yeah, I'm not gonna complain that his AI is glitching out. On this one. Nope. No, sir. No, sir. Boy. See? See what I told you? Little Deathclaw. Still freaking... 
packed full. I'm gonna have to... Uh, come back here. Uh, Jeez. I hate that fight. And yes, you can get hands. Chicken leg. Get it? Get it? It's a chicken leg. Gabe, and instead stripe. Yep. That's a gremlins reference, folks. Ugh. I just want to know, was it worth it? Was it worth it Fallout New Vegas? I mean, for the record, if you end up, uh... Like, again, if you don't end up, like, uh... Doing the Wild Wasteland perk, that just is a normal, like, thing. Like, you just can get his bowl. But yeah. Death Claws. Even little itty-bitty mutant ones. Not something to screw with. Period. Hmm. Okay, so I'm actually going to... Actually gonna head and try and grab... Damn it! Well, first I'm going to defend myself, and then after that, I think I'm going to try and get the, uh... And, and then I'm going to try and get, uh... Damn it! I'm sorry, there's just something hilarious about that. Hit him! Thank you. Jeez. I have no idea where you guys came from, but you're making it so that I don't want to explore the... anymore tonight. Ugh. Okay. Is this gonna be the last one? Okay. Me hopes so. Yeesh. I think I might actually have to go back just to get some semblance of, uh, not necessarily health, but. Uh. But like weapon repair and armor repair, yeah, especially for my helmet. Check it. You get to see Melvin. And the halo. Across his head. Yay. Okay. There we go. Just wanted to pull the camera back. Yeah, okay. I'm going to fast travel to the sink balcony.
and I'm gonna install the sync personas that I have. And we'll get to uh, get to know some of them before we uh before we uh call it a stream here. And then when we uh continue our little stream endeavor well actually I'll I'll talk to the think tank themselves, but first and foremost I'll install the uh I'll install and let us get to know the uh, artificial intelligences here that we've got. Uh, well, how about that? Old auto docs back online. Well, all right, come here. Let's have a look at you. Well, he ain't the fittest horse that ever ran a race, but he don't appear in immediate danger of keeling over. I can patch you up if you want. I'd like to engage uh, your services. Uh, let's see. And rightly so, I should think. All right, then. Let me just fire up the old interface for you. Yeah, so you can uh, do basic physical exams. You can do cosmetic surgery, get a haircut, and swap body parts when you get the when you get the when you actually get the body parts back. You can uh, exchange them. So you yeah. Require some additional services. So yeah. I'm feeling a little unwell in the head. Can you form a psychiatric Concerned evaluation about the on state me? Of your mind, are you? Well, such things ain't my specialty, but I'm happy to tender my opinion as to your mental health. I should make you aware that the benefits of such a procedure are exclusive. That is, this only works once. Now, are you sure this is what you want? Well. That's, uh, to respec your character, by the way. Uh, so... Yeah, you definitely... It, the available... It's available, and it's kind of cool, but... Yeah, so... You definitely need to be aware if you're gonna do that one. So, yeah. Yes, you can talk to the sink in the sink. Ha ah, It's funny. See, I'm surprised the refrigerator doesn't actually have a personality disc. Ah, good day, citizen. Library processing unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition. Eradicate sedition? Of course, citizen. That's my duty and sole joy in life. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. Just dump them in and lickety-split. I'll have them pumped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again clean and white and sedition-free. Can you do anything aside, uh, besides pressing books? What good is eradicating sedition if the malcontents have ready access to the means to make more, citizen? I can also process pencils and clipboards. Wait a moment. Pencil processors Use offline? Pencil processors offline! Apologies, citizen. It seems traitors have absconded with that module. If you can find a backup copy of the module, I will happily eradicate your ability to create seditious literature. Blank <laughs> books are better for the mind, citizen. Real science by real men in lab coats has proved that introducing outside thoughts confuses the brain. Blank books encourage the reader not to question, but to blindly and zealously accept what's put in front of him. Also, I suppose you could use them to keep a journal. Ah, uh, no comment on that one. <laughs> but books are last legacy before of the time before. You can't destroy Citizen, them. That sounds dangerously seditious. If my reindoctrination module was installed, I'd take care of that for you. Sadly, that system was cut for budget concerns, so you'll have to perform your own indoctrination. Now, to begin with, you'll need a cage that can fit over your head and a sack of mole rats. <laughs> now you're thinking like a citizen, citizen. All right, nothing else now. Stay loyal, citizen. So I have uh, the basics. I if believe you I have found two. Any communists in your backyard? 
You're not looking hard enough. I believe I actually have half of the initial the initial uh, processors or like processors um, the initial uh, modules. I'm actually going to hold off on installing the light switches be or the first light switch one because they uh, the two of them together have a very unique interaction and dynamic with each other so I'm holding off on that. So, yeah. Hey, it's our spine and our heart. And yes, you can, in fact, just, you know, you can reattach those at any time. I'm not going to. Yeah, dig that sweet music. Damn, it's good to be back online. What's your purpose here? I'm an acoustical wizard kid. Old Doc Moe used me to prototype his sonic weapon designs. Get me a good sample base to work from, and I can whip up a way that makes Jericho look like a kazoo. You seem pretty laid back for an engine of destruction. Why? Ain't like I got nothing to prove. Not like that toaster. Now that boy got some issues. Can you do like any, anything like that for me? Sonic emitter, don't you? Thought so. Bring that old thing on in here and bring me some sound samples and I'll make that baby sing. Or scream. <laughs> if that's what you want. I have a sound wave file right for on, you. Daddy -o. Just plug it in and I'll mix you up a sweet, sweet sound. Sound file, opera emitter, Gabriel's bark, tarantula. Do you play music? Mm, used to, long time ago. Then old Doc Moore ripped out my music drives and stuck in more acoustical processors. Guess you could say I got the blues, even if I can't play them no more. Mm hmm. But, yeah. So, yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, I'll come back with the rest of them. Alright, so we're going to go back down to the think tank. And I'm going to talk to the uh, to Dr. Klein. And, uh, company, and then after that, I will end up calling it a stream. And then when we come back, the next time on Fallout New Vegas, I will get the rest of the sync personalities. Gabe, thank you. A scam, but really, his highly augmented combat programming could have proved meddlesome. In any event, thank you for putting him down. One less test subject to catalog and sort. Clearly a failure of Doggy's cyber engineering. Is this Gabe's bull? Your dog from X8, Gabe? What? Why? Yes, it is. I used to leave it outside his doghouse, chock full of cans, before the cybernetic modifications, of course. And wow, no what a matter how man. cammed the food, he would always eat it, and his tail would wag, even, even while I, I, you know, I'm having the most perplexing feeling squiggling through my biogel. I can't quite. Pin it down. Speech. It sounds like you, Gabe, Gabe really Why, loved you. Yes, Gabe. No matter how awful my day had been, he, he was always waiting there. How odd. My gel is decoagulating. 
And when I would talk to him about Betsy, and how Marcus would beat on me and call me smarty sissy pants, he'd just sit there, head on my knee, and... If you don't mind, I'll take that bowl. Just need to remove it. Put it away, somewhere out of radar range. For some reason, its similarity to the crater shape of Big Mountain is starting to fill up all available cognitive spaces. That, combined with my own overwhelming feeling of having done something terrible, the two were hitting me with unexpected force. Oh, wow. It sounds to me like you hurt somebody that you, uh, that you loved very much. As odd as it is, I believe that is the conclusion. And I wonder why it didn't hit me before, until I saw that memory in your hands. This sensation is unpleasant. I don't care for it. I don't care for this place either. And I feel as if we've forgotten something. Still, it is no matter. Crush the feeling down. Crush it down. Push it into the loop. The... Hmm. Yes. Forgotten. Almost. Yes. I do not need to remember anymore. Not today. Yeah. Until next time, then. That's sad. Let's we'll see if they have anything else to say. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We. Dr. Dara. Oh, right here. And you return as curious as a teddy bear. Are you stuck in a looping gesture of greeting? A looping gesture of greeting? Looping, yes. It is a scientific fact that hormones drive a percentage of lobotomites into recursive behavior patterns. We haven't researched this, as my colleagues care little about the behavior patterns of lobotomites once their brains are removed. It is why so many are littered around the facility, like skin envelopes, discarded after they are peeled open and the contents extracted. What recursive behavior uh, patterns are you talking it about? It varies according to the number and density of lobotomites that have infected an area. In 43% of observed cases, two lobotomites left alone will fight for dominance or inject bodily fluids into each other's orifices. Unsanitary. I have tried to observe more cases, but subjects seem unwilling to release bodily fluids in my presence. <laughs> Okay. Until our next inter Alrighty then. Alright, and I think on that lovely, lovely note, we'll exit outside and we will, uh, and then I will call it a stream. save one more time and then that will be it for this week's uh, Fallout New Vegas stream I'd like to thank you all for watching excuse me however you're watching 
including and not limited, but not limited to, excuse me, the VOD of this video when you get the chance. And, uh, yeah, next week on Fallout New Vegas, we will continue to search for the sync personalities as well as conquer X-13, maybe, um, among the other testing facilities here in Big Mountain. Until then, stay happy, stay healthy, stay beautiful, stay sane, and Ghost of Tsushima is still on Thursday, as it were. So, yeah. Hope you all have a great one. Peace out. Until next time.